CCBC Catonsville Testing Center weren't listening to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you worked in a testing center? Yeah. It's, yeah, testing centers are so funny. It was awesome. It was just because it's like all the, like, people that uh, were just taking online classes, which this was like, you know, 10 years ago, so Mm -hmm. it was like people that were just trying to, like, duck Mm -hmm. out of going to college. Yeah, my stepmom has a bunch of, like, debt from like university of phoenix online <laughs> which is so dumb, fun. dumb dumb bitch alert. <laughs> it's just it's so funny dude I mean, <laughs> damn it's just such a bad decision <laughs> this is the fakest school of all the, time the vry the vry baby the best was itt tech when they because they went out into business and they're like, yeah, school's closed forever, Bob. Yeah, sorry. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you still owe us $40,000. Yeah. hmm To go well. to They had good commercials. I, honestly, those commercials would come on. I was a little kid. I was like, yeah. Mom, I'm going to ITT Tech. Yeah, I wanted to go to Lincoln <clears throat> Tech or UTI. I remember those commercials. Yeah, those and were there would cool. be like the, the they would show you like the time lapse photography of like a, hot, a freeway or something. Mm-hmm. Like maybe the Beltway or something. Yep. And then it would be like automotive technology is one of the fastest growing fields in the United <laughs> yeah. States. The phrase automotive technology. Yeah, I love that they call it that. I've ascertained the, uh, <laughs> some do- uh, some rat shit in your coolant. <laughs> it seems that your your vehicular uh, premises have been penetrated by. Rats <laughs> <laughs> chewing up your coolant lines and then shitting in them. <laughs> Sorry, uh, defecating. Defecation maximum. They're defecating shit into the coolant. <laughs> <laughs> into the coolant. At yeah. that point, we ascertain that the suspect defecated semen into the woman's sp- puss- <laughs> pussy area. <laughs> Yeah, I'm deciding whether to be a detective or go to ITT Tech. Yeah, I had I had one day in Austin, I'm delivering a pizza mm-hmm. to some apartment complex, and I had a security guard that was like hardcore, one of those guys. That's awesome, like a rent a cop guy. But I felt bad for him because he was like, I mean, like literally, like he must have been mentally retarded. Yeah, for sure. And he's like, um, can you can can you uh can you, um. Educate me on why you're on the uh, the premises. <laughs> I'm like in a Papa John's outfit <laughs> holding a pizza. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think anyone can educate me, man. I think that was the problem. <laughs> they tried. They tried. And you, you somehow managed to end up worse than me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the lowest rung on the on the whatever the thing that's got rungs on it. Yeah, yeah. The climby. The I cl- forget the name, <laughs> but you know what it is. On the climby sticks <laughs> is where I'm at, pal. And somehow, I found the one guy I can feel better than. Mm-hmm. Damn. Rent yeah. a cop, and then I just I deliver the pizza to a guy who like is the manager at Best Buy. Nice. And he's like, "Wow, this pizza man, probably the biggest loser in the entire world." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Save for the security guard, who's yeah. outside chewing on his badge. Absolutely, dude. That's that's where the Best Buy manager feels like a king. <laughs> yeah, amongst the pizza delivery men and the retarded rent a cops. Yeah, the Best Buy weekend manager is is king. I just went with my friend Steven to buy a TV. And at Best Buy, mm-hmm. and he had the whole the whole Magnolia crew That's helping awesome. him. Yeah, it's a very funny job. And it's got to feel good. Yeah, to get the whole team. Because I remember being idea. a teenager, I had like respect for those. Of people. course, dude. <laughs> you're, like, you're like that's the elite. That's the Delta Force. Yeah, those guys. Best Buy. Those guys have a real job. Except the, in the Geek Squad, they're fucking losers. Yeah, but Magnolia. Now those are the fucking. Because I truly thought that was like the best my life was ever gonna get. What's that? It's to be the guy that like manages like a, a car audio section or yeah. something. <laughs> like, I really did not I really did not think that it would go certainly this way. Yeah, I thought my dream was to play like to be like a guy that gets to do the fucking Harrisburg comedy zone. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, I wanted I wanted all that. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean For that's sure. where I remember it listening out. to Jimmy Merritt one time. Talk about going to Delaware to do a set. And I was like 17, and I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> D 
Delaware. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was yeah. like at a comedy club too. It wasn't yeah. like at a bar. It was like, wow, how the dude literally if Do I, I need to buy slacks to be yeah. able to do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Jimmy Merritt's done now. He's probably killed himself. Uh yep. I think so. Yeah. He killed himself. <laughs> Killed himself dressed like a, yeah, a, a wizard or something. Yeah, he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put they they put fentanyl in the Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Merritt died. <laughs> like, uh, guys, they're putting fentanyl in the child pornography. <laughs> <laughs> stay listen, stay safe out there, guys. Mm-hmm. All right, there's testing kits you can get. Before you look at child porn, dip the little stick in it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you know what was a really pathetic one? Fuck, what was this place called? It was like in Norfolk, I think. There was like a, a comedy club. Was it called Lucky's or something? That was like just a bar. And I was like... <sighs> Not Ka- Kazi's. Was it Kazi's? Maybe Kazi's. I don't know. I just remember... They wouldn't approve me to feature for our boy Mike Stork. Yeah. And I was like, one day I'll feature in Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I was like, literally, dude, I was like so bummed that they wouldn't. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like one of like four clubs. It was like the furthest one. Yeah. There was that. Virginia had a couple of those. Maybe it was Kazi's now that I it's think Kazi's, about it. It's Kazi's, Del Rio, uh, Lestrani's. Lestrani's. Those were like the big, like. Shitty shows you could do. I, you know what? Now that you're saying it, I think it's Cosby. Lestrani's was funny because remember Dustin Diamond, R.I.P. Yeah, it was Co- it was Cosby's Comedy Club. Yeah, that was my dream gig <laughs> that I could not get in Newport News, Virginia. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I always wanted to work the DC Improv, and that never happened. Really? I hosted there one time for Ari Shafir like seven years ago. Oh, I remember that. It was a fun weekend. You but... had to get pants, and you fucked that lady in the woods. That's right. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, yeah, I never I never got to work at the DC Improv. I wonder why. It's like the one time they booked me, I showed up with like pussy blood all over my hands, not wearing pants. And then borrow pants you had from Tito. Immigrant, you had Chinese immigrant pussy stained cloth shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you had to borrow pants that were too big. <laughs> This industry's fucked up. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I wonder why. <laughs> why why stand up never really happened for me. <laughs> At least you got pussy in uh what was that what's that woods called over there? Uh Rock Creek Park. Rock Creek Park. Yeah. Yeah, that was a funny day. <laughs> I remember you telling me, I was like, what? I was like, don't you have to do, aren't you there to do these shows? I was like, why are you in the woods getting pussy in the middle of the day? (laughs) I was like, I was like trying to get, I was like, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to go down there and I'm just going to use Tinder to find places to stay near the club. Because I was on a little like tear back then. Right. And, uh, And then I met up with somebody and then I was like. You know, she was like, well, I don't, like, she's like, I'm staying with my aunt or something. She didn't have a place to stay either. It was the middle of the day, and it was like, well, we can fuck somewhere if you want to. Yeah. And then uh, there was no, you know, we were trying to find, like, a porta potty or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is also hilarious, because it's like, these women really don't respect themselves. <laughs> no. You were a, you looked horrible. No, at the time, I looked, I looked good. No, dude, this is when you lived in the fucking... Didn't you live in the fucking windowless room and you had that No, this is when I upgraded to the window. And I had bought a gym membership and I started taking care of myself again. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so at the time I didn't like, you know... I could have swore this was like you with your fucked up beard and nah, ringworm. Nah, I was clean shaven. Oh, okay, I was okay. In sh- I, I, I was vascular. Okay, all right. That yeah. makes a little more sense then, at least. 